Jenny, your tonsils are very large. Jenny, your tonsils are very large. I imagine it makes it difficult for you to eat. What does that mean, Dr. Hostetler? That means she probably should go to, will have to go to the hospital and have a special surgeon remove her tonsils. Oh, no, I'm not going to hospital. I won't go to a hospital. She's acting like a baby. What's wrong with her? Club meeting, come to order. All members present except Jenny. Hey, she was absent last week. But the very little pet show is today, and she's the judge. I'm afraid she's going to miss it. She hasn't been feeling very well. It's her tonsils. That's why she's been sick so much. They need to come out. Gee, an operation, just like my favorite TV show, Squirrel Surgeon. Well, what are they waiting for? Well, I'm afraid Jenny's a little afraid of going to the hospital. There's nothing to it. I had my tonsils out. I didn't mind, and I got snow cones and ice cream. <laughs> Gee, maybe I should have my tonsils out. Snow cones, my favorite. Hey, Ty, didn't you have your tonsils out last spring? I don't remember when it was. Oh, I do. Your dad came to pick you up, and you were hiding behind the wall in the park. And you pulled my tail when I told your dad where you were? <laughs> I wasn't afraid. I was playing a trick on everyone. Oh, yeah? Then why did you bring your teddy bear to the hospital, huh? You would get lonely without me. Oh, come on, Ty. You were afraid of the operation then, just like Jenny is now. Maybe a little. Everybody gets afraid when they have to go to the hospital. Do you remember when I hurt my knee and I was on crutches for two months? <laughs> yeah, and the time I sprained my tail. Wow, did that really hurt. I have a story, too. Do you remember that time I cut my foot? I had to have 20 stitches, and I even had to get a tetanus shot. Did it bleed? Oh, yeah, a lot. Ooh, that makes me sick. <laughs> Are we going to have to take you to the hospital? No, not so. I never get hurt or sick, and I never will have to go to the hospital. In fact, I don't even want to talk about the hospital anymore. But surely we have to talk about it sometimes. Sometimes you need hospitals, like Jenny does now. Hello? Hello, Cassie? Oh, hi, Jenny. <laughs> Sorry, I won't be able to make it to the pet show today. I'm feeling kind of bad. Is it your tonsillitis? Well, I don't know about that, but I do have a little fever. <clears throat> well, you take care of yourself, okay? Bye. Jenny? Jenny? Was that you on the phone? Yes, Mom. Well, hurry up, honey. It's time for you to go to the hospital for the tour. I'm not going to the hospital, so I don't need any tour. I'm going to the hideout. That was Jenny. She's not feeling very well. Tonsillitis, I bet. She's missing a lot of club meetings in school because of her tonsillitis. Well, we can at least look at the pets, and then maybe we can get know it Al to judge. Good idea. Here's Hector the turtle. Wow, I've never seen a live turtle before. And you won't this time either, Ty. Why? Hector never comes out of his shell. I think he's afraid. Dumb pet. Okay, let's see yours. A rock? Yeah, my pet rock. A rock for a pet? It isn't alive. No one said it had to be alive. Okay, you oh. guys. Check out Shirley's and my pet. It's a little green worm. A caterpillar. Hey, that is a terrific name for him. Caterpillar. No, no, that's what he is. Well, I don't know about that. But he's the best pet so far. But we haven't seen Cassie's yet. Oh, no. 
He's gone. What was it? He was a little teeny flea. I wonder where he could have gone to. I think I know that one, Cassie. Thanks. <laughs> Not so now you'll need another flea bat. <laughs> What do I win? What do I win? Nothing, Ty. We don't have a judge. Oh, we've got to get Jenny well. I miss her. Maybe we should all go pay her a visit. Yeah, we could give her support and tell her our hospital stories. Well, I don't have any stories because I never get sick. Well, she didn't mean to get sick, Cheryl. Well, she is sick and I don't want to see her. Shirley, what are we going to tell Jenny? I don't know. I don't care. Jenny, Jenny, where are you? Oh, it's you, but you're sick. Oh no, I'm feeling better now. <coughs> well, they're all coming to see you, except for me. Cheryl! We can all go to the hospital with Jenny. Oh no, they're against me too, some friends. We could have a party after the operation. Her throat will hurt too bad to eat anything at the party. Well, all the more for me. I'm sure she'll be tired and sore. Do you think they'll have to give her an anesthetic? Most likely. I wonder if she'll have to stay in the hospital overnight. She'll be all alone. I won't be able to eat. I'll be sore and alone. <coughs> I can't judge the pet show. <coughs> I can't play because I don't feel good. They'll find me and take me to the hospital. I can see it now, walking through those cold doors. No one else, just me. It's a funny kind of feeling when you have to go away And all your friends are someplace else with no one near to say that it's all right Everything will be okay Or even say goodbye to you We'll come and play another day It's a funny kind of feeling to be all alone and scared you look around and wonder if there's anyone who cared or said it's all right. Everything will be okay. Or even say goodbye to you. We'll come and play another day. What you should do is shake your head and say, all right, Jenny, be brave, just get going on your way. But it's still a funny feeling when you have to go away. You're quite alone and scared, you'd rather stay. All alone and scared like me. Who said that? Pick me hideout will return right after these messages. And now back to Hick me hideout. That's funny. I thought I heard a voice. Go away. Oh, the turtle. Go away! I'm never coming out! I'm too scared! Scared of what? Everything! Feeding time! Here, little green worm! Oh, so you hide too? What? You hide, like me! Well, you see, Turtle. Uh, the name is Hector. You know, the best pet in the show. Well, I have to go into the hospital. Oh, well, if you're so afraid, why don't you hide in a show like me? I wish I could. Jenny, you're here. Oh, <clears throat> hi, Cassie. I'm feeling a lot better. Jenny, be honest with me. Why are you here? I was supposed to tour the hospital today. Your mom told us, so what's the problem? What's the problem? I don't want to go. Why? Here, little green worm, fresh leaves to eat. It's gone. My little green worm is gone. Somebody
Somebody's stolen it. Green worm. Green worm. It's gone. Oh, she was the only pet with a chance to win the big contest. <laughs> okay, Ty. What did you do with her? I didn't take your green worm. I bet you did. You knew you never had a chance with a dumb rock. No, no, wait, wait a second. Let me see this. Uh-huh. Just as I thought. Your caterpillar's changing. A metamorphosis is taking place. A meta what? A, a metamorphosis. Your caterpillar has changed into a cocoon. Is, it, is she still alive? Oh, yes, yeah, she's still alive. And when she comes out, she'll be transformed into another creature. A beautiful one. Wait a minute. I liked her better as a green worm. She was the best pet. You want to bet? How many rocks do you know that have a smile face on them? Ha! Just think. A little green worm into a beautiful creature. I have to tell Cassie. It's not so bad. Cassie, I just don't want to go. Just listen, Jenny. I am tired of listening to this. You are being a baby, Jenny. You want to stay sick and spoil our pet show. That's not true. Well, then why don't you go on the hospital tour? Just leave me alone. Well, if that's what you want. Oh, I'm sorry. I told you. Go get yourself a shell. I can't live in a shell. What's going on up in the hideout? It's that Jenny. She's ruining our pet show with all this talk about hospitals. Wait a minute. You don't understand, any of you. This pet show is not as important as Jenny. She's got an important decision to make. She can't stay in her shell. She's got to get out and do what she's got to do. Gee, you people never learn. Get a shell. Then you won't have to worry about problems. I don't think life is that simple, Hector. Well, it works for me. Oh, hi, Jenny. Hi. Ah, I see you've met Hector. You know he never comes out of his shell, at least not while I'm around. Jenny, did you ever think what it'd be like if, if you never left your room or never went to school? Wayne, are you trying to tell me that I should go to the hospital? Now, Jenny, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but I don't think you can make up your mind unless you know what hospitals are like and uh, what the doctors can do for you. Otherwise, you're no better than Hector. Now, if you still want to take the tour, there's still time. I could take you. I'll be down in the park. You aren't going to listen to all that, are you? Yes, I'm going to listen. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Parma General Hospital. My name is Pat Bauer. Are Hello. you here for the pre-surgical tour? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. What we're going to do today is take a walk around the hospital and look at the places that you'll be seeing when you come back for your surgery. Okay, we're not going to do anything except look today and answer your questions. All right. Okay, are you ready? Okay, this is the outpatient registration desk. You'll come up here and give the receptionist your name and she'll give you a green folder that looks like this. Okay, inside will be your instructions to go to the laboratory, radiology, and to the pre-admission testing area. And that's where we'll be going next and I'll explain the tests that are going to be done there. Okay, Jenny, here we are in the pre-admission testing area, and you'll come here with your parents, and the nurse will ask them a lot of questions, and she'll also check you out in a few ways, kind of like at the doctor's office. All right, one thing that they'll do is take your temperature. Okay, this is a special kind of thermometer, a little bit different than the ones at home. <laughs> it has a cover plastic cover that goes over it so it's clean for everybody and it goes under your tongue. Okay, we'll just show you how this works. And you can watch the numbers change here. 
and then when it reaches your temperature, it'll beep, and the nurse knows that you're finished. Another way that she'll check you is with one of these. Do you know what this is? Um, a stethoscope. That's right, good. <laughs> okay, what she'll do is put the ends in her ears, and she'll listen to your heart. Okay. Another time she'll use this is when she's taking your blood pressure. Okay. What she'll do, she'll take the blood pressure cuff, okay, and it goes around your arm. She'll pull up your sleeve, but since we're just pretending here, we'll do it on top. And it just goes right around there. And then the nurse will pump this up with air. Okay, you can squeeze that a few times and feel it'll just kind of hug your arm. Okay, it'll get a little bit tighter. Then when it's pumped up, okay, you turn this button to let the air out, and the nurse will listen here with the stethoscope. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, there's something else here on the wall that they might use. This is an otoscope. They put a clean cover on the end, and they'll check your ears. There's, it's like a little flashlight for your ears, okay? And it's, um, it doesn't hurt. They'll look in your ears, maybe in your nose, or maybe in your mouth. And then when you're finished here, you'll go to the laboratory. Okay, and there's two things that you do in the laboratory. One is kind of funny for the first time. Um, you have to go to the bathroom in a cup, okay? They need a urinalysis. And they check that out. They can tell how, the, how your body's using the food that you eat. The next thing that you'll do is go for blood work. They need to take a little blood sample from your arm. Okay, it'll pinch, but the pinch goes away and they put a Band-Aid on there. Okay, and it doesn't bleed after they're finished. The Band-Aid stops it from bleeding. All right? Okay, then from there, you'll go to the radiology department, and that's where they take x-rays. Have you ever had an x-ray before? Yeah. Okay, does it hurt? No, they don't hurt. Okay, they have a large camera and the camera just comes down close to your body, but it doesn't touch it here, and they take a picture, just like using a big camera at home, okay? And this is what the picture might look like. Okay, we're finished here. Next, we'll be going to the outpatient waiting area where we'll start the rest of our tour. Okay, this is the outpatient surgery reception desk, and this is Lillian. Um, when you come back for your surgery, that morning you'll stop at the desk, give Lillian your name, and she'll send you back to the outpatient area where we have the beds. Okay, and a nurse back there will show you your bed and pajamas and things. Okay, let's go to the back now and check that area out. Okay, Jenny, this is the kind of bed that you'll be sleeping on. Okay, and when you come back here, the nurse will take your temperature again and your blood pressure, like you've had done already, and she'll also give you a bracelet to wear. Okay, it'll have your name on it and your doctor's name, and you wear this until you go home. This bed also has side rails. Okay, the side rails will stay up while you're in the bed so that you don't roll off, because it's kind of a short bed there. Okay, narrow bed. Okay, also there's two chairs over here, so your parents can stay with you whenever you're in this room. Oh, here's Becky. This is Jenny. She's going Hi, to be Jenny. having surgery. How are you? Nice and to meet you. This is Becky. She knows how to take care of kids real well. <laughs> she has some of her own. And she's going to be your nurse while you're here at the hospital. And I'll take care of you while you're in the surgery room. We'll take good care of you. Everything will be fine. And why don't we go back to the surgery area now and see what that looks like. Jenny, this is the operating room, and this is Dr. Ross. Oh, well, hi, Jenny. Hi. How are you today? Pretty good. Have you ever been to surgery before? Nope. Do you have any questions about it? Well, what's that? Well, this is the machine I use that helps you relax when you come in for surgery. Now, when you come down, what I'll do is ask you what your favorite story is. And as we're telling you your favorite story, this mask goes over your face like this. And at that point, well, I ask you to blow up this big balloon I have here. Okay? See how big it blows up? Do you think you can blow it up that big? <laughs> okay, well let's have you try. Okay. Here you go. Blow it up real big for me. 
Can you do it bigger? How about bigger? Oh, you'd go off the stage fast. <laughs> Good job. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Nice meeting you. Thank you, Dr. Okay, Jenny, this is the last place we're visiting on our tour today. This is the recovery room. This is the room you'll come to after your operation's all finished, and this is where the medicine will start to wear off and you'll start to wake up. Okay, and there will be lots of nurses here to take care of you if you need anything. You just have to ask them. Hi, everybody. Oh, you're back. I suppose you want to be judge of our contest now. Hey, not so, look, look, something's happening to our cocoon. Oh, look, uh, oh, oh no, my cocoon. I, oh, my paw, I, I, I've cut my paw. Ow. Oh, wow, Cheryl, <laughs> that's really bleeding. Hey, hey, we better take it to the hospital. To the, the hospital? I don't want to go to the hospital. No, I don't want to. Cheryl, you have no choice. You're bleeding. You're going to take me to the hospital? Yes, Cheryl, it's not that bad. It really isn't. <laughs> Hickory Hideout will return right after these messages. And now, back to Hickory Hideout. I got ten stitches. I was so scared. I really cried hard. I'm glad Jenny was there. That's why I'm here now. You know, hospitals are scary. Especially if you've never been to one before. I know, but I like it fine now. I'm going to be much better. Mm. And they're going to take real good care of Jenny, too. Keep your eye on that cocoon. We can see it better outside the jar anyway. Well, at least we know where Cassie's flea is. Jenny, hi. It's nice to see you again. You think you're ready for all this? Yeah, I guess. Okay, what are you going to have done? My tonsils sticking out. Right. Have you had anything to eat or drink last night or today? Very good. You remembered everything we told you, right? All right, we're going to go around to the surgery room that you saw on your tour, and Dr. Ross is there waiting for us. They've got some good books here. Jenny's surgery is all over. Everything went really well. She's still sleeping in the recovery room. Her parents are with her, and you'll be able to visit her in about an hour. Are there any questions? No, ma'am. Okay. Here we are staring at this dumb cocoon, and Jenny's eating snow cones. I told you it wasn't so bad going to a hospital, and I ate two whole snow cones. You know, if I had my tonsils out, I bet I could eat three. I bet I could eat four. I bet I could eat five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Gee, Cheryl, how's your hand? Much better, thank you. But how are you feeling? Oh, a little bit sleepy, and my throat's a little sore. The doctor said that soreness would go away in a couple of days. In the meantime, the nurse gave me a popsicle for you. <laughs> and when you're up and around, we're all going to go for a snow cone. Snow cones. <laughs> Butterfly. That's what caterpillars do. Jenny, our judge, if you had time to look at all the pets? Well, they're all very nice, but I think my choice would be the butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Ty. A stupid rock. <laughs> Not so all the pets were nice. Oh, I don't know why anybody would want to have a flea. 
Cassie, did your pet get loose again? <laughs> I think all of the pets are winners, and I think we should celebrate with a treat. Snow, Snow cones! <laughs> you coming, Jay? Be right there. Why didn't you pick me? Well, we all gotta come out of our shell sometimes, Hector.